everyone. Welcome to our third Power Hour of 2022. For those who don't know me, my name is Tom Gray. I'm the head of community here at Glide. We are really excited to have you with us. Uh, so wonderful to see so many new names in the list of attendees there. A big, warm welcome from all the Glide team. In today's Power Hour, we'll be showing you how to build a CRM for your business using Glide's latest features. As always, a recorded version of this webinar will be available in the coming days and we'll be posting it in our community forum and across our newsletter and social channels. So please do keep a lookout. Today's session aims to help you to understand CRMs and how they can help you to grow your business. So we'll be giving you some insights on how Glide can help your business level up by creating a custom CRM, why Glide is the ultimate platform for building a CRM, and we'll show you how to achieve all of this using some of Glide's latest features. Uh, we'll also be sharing some tips and tricks on getting started with templates and other useful resources to help you fast track your project. Today's agenda, We'll shortly be meeting our wonderful co-host and he and I will break open the conversation around CRMs before diving into a Build It Live session where we'll showcase the magic that Glide has to offer and keeping with tradition, we'll then round off and close out with a Q&A. We will do our very best to answer all your questions. Please do put them here in the chat here in Zoom. Our wonderful experts and ambassadors who are on the call will also be on hand to help you answer any questions as we go. If you could try and keep them as uh, brief as you can, that would really help us get through as many as possible. Without further ado, I'm delighted to welcome my wonderful co-host today, Mr. Darren Alderman. Hello, Darren. Welcome. Hello, Tom. It is a wonderful time to be here and so cool that we can talk to each other from across the world. All right, from across the pond. Uh, well, it's wonderful to have you have you with us. If you haven't already met Darren, Darren is one of our leading certified experts and ambassadors. He has an amazing portfolio of Glide projects and customer success stories, everything from CRMs through to building robust and powerful Glide projects that help businesses scale and grow. Darren is also a brilliant educator uh, for all things low code and has a fantastic YouTube channel, uh, which we'll be revisiting later in the session. All right, Darren, are you ready, sir? I'm uh, so ready. Let's, let's get started. <laughs> okay. So many of you are already familiar, I'm sure, with CRM, but if you are new to the tool, uh, a CRM is simply a customer relationship manager. Uh, it's a tool that it is used by businesses to administer its interactions with customers. Now, this can take many forms. It can be used to track and manage customer data, like managing leads in a sales pipeline, helping to support customer experiences, and also uh, to automate repetitive tasks. Darren, how, how would you best describe a CRM? It's a place where you kind of keep all of your clients, and it becomes essential whenever you start having multiple clients. It's easy to manage like single clients, maybe over email, but eventually getting everything in a centralized place is a really good thing for your business. And that's what the CRM is. It's a centralized place to manage your clients. Awesome. And, and what would you say are the main benefits of having a CRM for your business? It becomes really important when you want to systematize and scale. If you start having more people on your team, giving everybody a place where they can see where everything is going on, that becomes really important for clarity. It gives you the ability to provide for your customers better. And then also systematizing. So what you'll find is as you're growing your business, whatever it is, whether you're doing um, a software company or a service-based company, you're gonna have systems that you're taking your clients through and creating some custom software to track that really helps you be more professional and get things done quicker and ultimately earn more money. And Darren, we're seeing Glide continues to change the landscape with how software is built. Uh, Glide allows anyone to create polished professional apps that help move their business forward. And individuals are not having to wait or rely on IT departments to get powerful tools built. Glide allows anyone to build custom apps for their business without requiring any coding or design skills. Um, so I'm curious to learn your take on why use Glide to build your CRM. Why not 
an off-the-shelf CRM or building one in another platform? This one hits home because I'm currently in the process of trying to pick out a piece of software for my business. And I've gone through the process of trying to pick out a platform for a CRM for my business as I was, you know, or I am trying to grow, creating apps for other people and creating different low-code uh, projects for people. And it can be completely overwhelming trying to find the best CRM or tool because there's so many options out there. They all have all these crazy features and some of them are easier to do some things, some of them look really old and outdated. Some of them are new and flashy, but they're super expensive. So it's like, what do you do? <laughs> what I love about Glide is you can make it custom for your workflow and exactly what you need to do. And you can get rid of everything that you don't need. And uh, why use Glide over maybe other low-code tools? Because you can create CRMs and other low-code tools. And my answer would be just from my experience, Glide is just the easiest to get started with and it's the cleanest. And I've just really enjoyed the experience of building software in it in comparison to all the other tools I've tried out. So this one really hits home for me because I just really love building Glide, but also think it's an incredible solution for building CRMs. This is my favorite bit, watching you spin Glide magic. For those just joining us, and if you're new to Glide, one of the many wonderful things you'll discover about Glide is it lets you connect with data wherever it lives. So you can build out this very same tool with Glide using Google Sheets, Glide Tables, and other available data sources. For today's Build It Live session, we're going to be using Airtable to build our custom CRM. All right, let's dive in. Darren, do you want to pull up your Airtable base? So yeah, can see here that you've got clients here in your in your Airtable base. So how how do you start creating a CRM in Glide? If you have a, an existing list of uh, clients or customers and even your, your staff members like I have here, uh, if you want to turn that into a, a CRM, first I uh, would start with the data. So let's just take a look at this. And really when I say start with data, it's like get it all in one place, clean it up, and make sure all the data is good and you have all the you know different columns you need. At the bare minimum, what you need for a CRM is a list of your clients. And so here I have a list of company names here. I have some images, some just information about the client. And then I also have a client manager here. So the bare minimum for a CRM is a list of clients. If you have a bigger team, say, you know, anywhere from two to 2000 people, <laughs> you're going to eventually start assigning clients to certain people. And so I wanted to show in this example, of what we're building today, where we have uh, staff members as well. So people on our team. And so I have a list of my team members, and then I have a list of our clients. And then I've assigned, see here, a client manager, I've assigned each one of my customers to someone on my team. And then on the staff side, if we go and look at one of those team members, we can see all of the clients that that person has. And so we start with the data. And then if we wanted to turn this into a more user-friendly CRM through an application, well, that's where you get started with Glide. And Glide integrates really nicely with Airtable. So um, I've already created here a new Glide account, and I'm just going to start a new project to kick this off. And I'll just name this CRM, and we're going to build a Glide page today. I'm going to start from scratch here, but you could start with one of these other templates if you'd like. And then we're going to be using Airtable as our data source. But if your list of clients is in one of these other data sources, you could certainly get started with that. And if you don't have one of these data sources um, and you're using some other system, you can also export all your clients into a file like a CSV and upload that here to get started. And then here I'm just going to select the Airtable base that all of my clients are in and create page. And so now Glide's going to go through and pull in all of that data and then generate some screens based off that data. And I haven't done anything. And right out of the box, if we go ahead and do a little preview here, we now have all of our clients here. We have their names and we can click on them. 
and see some more details. We can add some more details here later. And then we also have all of our staff members as well. Yeah, so I can see a list of companies there. So can you show us how you would add or edit clients? Cool, so before we add an edit, I'll get to that in a second, uh, we should probably just make this look a little bit, little bit better and show some more details about these people. So let's go ahead and start with our client list here. And um, just to give you a little bit of tour of Glide if you're new to the builder, the, we have three kind of main sections at the top. We have our data editor, which has all of the uh, data that we're using. And this looks very similar to what we had in Airtable. So we have a list of our clients and a list of our staff. And uh, Glide basically has a copy of this inside of Glide that we can use for the application. But as we make updates, which I'll show you how to do in a second, all of the updates we make in Glide go back to Airtable and any updates we make in Airtable will be ported back to Glide as well. So first section is our data editor. The next session is the layout editor. So this is where we can build everything that you actually see inside of the application. And then we have the settings section, and this is where you can adjust the color for your application. You can adjust who can sign in and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and build this out so it looks a little bit better and we're actually, we can actually see all of the data for our clients. So on the layout screen in the top left corner here, here are all of our pages. If we click on a specific page below that, we can see all of the components that are on that page. And then if we click on a component over here on the right, we can see all of the different settings for that component. So like this list here, I could change it to be a grid or a list or a table. I'm gonna stick with cards for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and update this to add some more things. So maybe I want to show an image of the client's logo. So we can see that logo there. And then instead of showing this description, let's take that off. Maybe I want to show the client that's assigned to this. So if you'll recall, we can look at it inside of Glide here. Scroll over. You remember we have this client manager here, and this is just a, a link or a reference to our staff member. So like if we click on this, we can see the staff member's name, their email, all the good stuff. Um, I want to show just their name, and this is a, maybe a little advanced, but I'll need to add a lookup column for this. And what a lookup column does is it looks at that that client or looks at that staff member, all of their data, and it'll pull in a specific value. So I'll just call this uh, manager name, client manager name. And now we have an actual text value that we can display on the screen. And so now I'll go to meta here and I can display manager name. And now for each one of my clients, I can see the, the manager that's associated to that. So that's a brief tour of, of Glide and how to get it uh, to display what you want to see, all the different. Remember, we have pages. Below that, we have components. And then below that, we have the properties for those components. And so now, how do we add and edit and delete different clients from our CRM? So we can start off with, with adding. So to do this, Glide has, if we click on our list here, if we come over to actions and switch back to default actions, right here, uh, Glide has a place where we can add kind of right out of the box. So if I turn on this add items option, this creates a, or adds a button here where we can add new clients to our list. And so if I click on that, this opens up a form where we can fill out the name of our client, uh, give uh, the, you know, upload a logo and all of that good stuff. Um, for now, I'm just gonna add a new client and I will submit that. And what that does is it adds a new record here. And then if we go to the Glide data editor and look at our clients, we can see there's a new client added here. And then if we go back to Airtable, and go to our clients. In just a second, this new client will show up here. So now we can add 
companies through our ad form. The next thing we might want to do is edit one of these companies. So we'll edit the same one. And if we go back to our actions, Glide has this um, allow users to edit items. We can toggle that on and off. And if we toggle that on right here on the card, there's these three dots. We can click on that and click edit. And then here we can edit any client information we might have. And maybe we should edit something that's a little bit more fun than just that <laughs> new client. Let's go ahead and edit open lane here. And so here we have all of that information. And now we rename this to maybe open lane rebranded to open lines. And now we can change that. And so their company name would um, be updated there. And then eventually that update would make it back to Airtable. So yeah, now it's synced up. So here we have our new client that we added. And then the name uh, for open lane is changed to open lines. And then at a very basic level, uh, the last thing you would need to do when you're managing client data or any kind of data in Glide is being able to delete a client. And <clears throat> to do that, we can go back to our actions and Glide, again, makes this super easy. So right here, we can just toggle on allow users to delete items. And then in our three dots here, this option shows up here. And then just to show you, if we were using a different list view, these options are still available in, in all of these views. So now I want to delete that new client I added because it was by mistake. And so now I can click delete and that will remove that client and they will eventually be removed from here. It looks like that's already synced up. So that's good. Uh, the last thing that I will say on adding or, you know, manipulating our clients, adding them, editing, deleting them is Glide has released a, a pretty sweet new way to add data that I'm a little <laughs> bitter about. Uh, so I have a YouTube channel where I teach how to build um, apps with Glide and other low code, no code tools. And I made a YouTube video a while back called how to create a multi-step form with no code in Glide. You know, a nice 16 minute video um, showing you step-by-step -step how to create that multi-step form. And, you know, if you were to go along and follow along with that, it'd probably take you, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes to figure out, you know, understand the concepts, implement it in your own app. What a multi-step form does is if we go back to our ad, you can see here, there's all these different fields you have to fill out to add a new client. And as this list grows, you might want to separate these out into different steps. So you can add information like your client information, client details, and then maybe client project details or something. So what if you wanted to break this up? Well, the old way before this update was you'd have to go follow my YouTube video and figure it out and build it all out. Uh, but Glide just released this really sweet feature called uh, sample tabs. So if we go up to our pages or our tabs, they have right out of the box, this new multi-step form option. And so if I click on that, Glide's going to go through and create basically everything I need for this multi-step form for my team members to be able to add a new client. So I can just call this, if I was updating this for my CRM, I would say add new client form. And then now just right out of the box, it just works out of the box. We have continue, you can go and specify all this information and completely add something new. And then behind the scenes, Glide has already set up all the different tables that you would need for this. So when it comes to adding things, I just wanted to show that new feature of being able to add uh, a multi-step form just with one click and super, super sweet update. That's really exciting. Um, Darren, I'm, I've been playing around with them the last couple of weeks and I, I love the new page templates. Could you show some of the new page templates? Yeah, I'd love to share a few of those uh, new page templates uh, because they're really, really actually kind of applicable to what we're talking about today, which is building your CRM. So uh, we'll go through, we'll go through the ones I haven't covered yet. So project management, let's click on that and see. Let it generate that. So this creates a Kanban view, which I personally uh, love just moving tasks through columns. You know, every, I don't know. I feel like most people love the Kanban view. And 
more than just being a Kanban board on your, your Glide project, like this is a great way for you to manage um, different things or different processes that you would be taking clients through. So whether it's you have a Kanban view specific for a specific client so they can see different projects that you're moving through or different deliverables that you're creating. Or if you have like a deal pipeline for your sales team, you could be moving different people through a, a sales workflow and Glide adds this out of the box. And behind the scenes for all of these that I'm showing you right now, it's one click, you press it, Glide puts all the components together for you in a new page. And then behind the scenes, Glide creates all of the tables that you would need in order to support a feature like this. And so you can either start from what Glide gives you through their sample data, or just use this as a reference point to see what types of different fields or things you can add to make like this, in this example, a, a Kanban or project management style workflow work. Some of the other ones are also uh, really sweet. One that I'm really excited about as well is a dashboard. One thing as Glide experts that we've been asking for uh, for some time is uh, to have uh, charts inside of pages. This is one of the first things we requested when the uh, pages was announced. And so this dashboard is a great way to see maybe high level KPIs here for uh, maybe all the sales and invoices you're processing or any kind of thing that you're tracking uh, for your clients. Maybe your marketing company and you want to show your clients uh, their analytics information or see how your team is progressing towards their goals um, over the past six months. All that's available through creating charts and um, publishing those on a dashboard. And then the last one is a company directory which is very similar to what we're creating in our CRM because we have a nice view of all of our team members. So this would be basically very similar to what we would have on a staff view. But here's just an example. If you don't have this all set up, now it's all ready to go out of the box and you could just import or copy and paste over all of your staff members. And you can see how all this would look really good inside of your CRM. So yeah, I'm really loving the uh, the new sample tabs. And I think they're a great way to add these kind of more advanced features into existing projects in Glide Pages. So yeah, I'm loving it, Tom. I'm really excited about, could you, if we have time, could you show a bit about the, the calendar component? Yes, I almost forgot. Um, so think about, again, we're thinking in terms of CRM. So how can a calendar fit into your CRM or something you're doing with, with clients? Um, any kind of client that you're working with, most of the times when you start with them, you're going to have, you know, maybe set some dates that you're going to provide deliverables. So one thing that you could do, and I'll just click on here and add the calendar while I'm talking about it. Say you have different project deadlines for all of your clients. A great feature with this calendar is you could have, um, you know, client one due on this day, and then maybe client two due on this day. Boom. So as you could, I mean, very, very rudimentary example, but what I'm getting at is if you had due dates for all the different projects, for all your different clients, you could summarize them all into one calendar view inside of Glide and make sure that your team is aligned. So you can see this week, we need to do this. Normally to do something like this, you would have to be like putting, you know, putting calendar things, maybe tasks on your Google calendar or whatever calendar software you use. But now this is built in and integrated with uh, your, your project workflow for your clients. So yeah, I'm really excited about, about this as well. There was uh, something that made all of the experts certainly very excited uh, was the, um, the recent release of uh, some of the updates to the choice component. Could you show us how you could use the choice component with its updates in, the, um, in this project? Yes, I would love to share some of the new, uh, I'm really excited, some of the new choice components updates specifically as it pertains to integrating with Airtable. If you will remember, well, you probably won't remember, but in our last presentation on Airtable, 
this, it was kind of, kind of weird. So let's just kind of set the stage here. So basically what we're trying to do in this scenario is we have our clients. So let me go ahead and spruce this screen up a little bit. And so, yeah, I want to add some more details to the screen before we get into this, this example. So let me do the container here. So what I'm trying to do is add a section at the top where we can display this breadcrumb here and then maybe some information about our client. So to do that, I'm adding in what's called a container. And what a container does is it creates a section that has items inside of it. And I'm going to uh, make this section uh, dark, or maybe I want to make it uh, highlight, white, accent. Now we'll leave it like that for now. And then I can move like the this name component into there. And now I have this nice section. And for my title, let me add in an image here. So an image of our client's logo. Uh, let me show a cool thing that I like to do here actually for this background. I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but <laughs> I wanted to show this. One thing I do often, if I'm ever using an image and you don't just want like a static background, but you also don't want to set specific background images for every client. One thing that you can do is set the background to an image and then use the client's logo as an image. And then two more things, make it blurry and then darken it. And now it looks like you have like a custom background for each one of your clients. So when you go to somebody else, it looks different. I don't know. I kind of like that. That blurry view it separates things up and adds a different kind of texture or color to the app. All right, let's continue on building out this page and then we'll get to the, that choice component. So another thing that you would want to do is show some more details uh, on this screen. So right now we just have the company name and their description. We also might want to show the client manager like I did on the home screen there. And then we also might want to show some of the other information pertaining to this client. What other information is there, you might be asking? Well, uh, we can use the, um, I think I saw that this this, this is called the peekaboo, <laughs> the peekaboo data view. <laughs> um, so down here at the bottom, we can see, we can click here, and this gives us a preview to all of the uh, data that we can use on the screen or in other words, all the data associated to this client. And so here I can scroll over and this is a, a peek into that specific row in our table of all the information. And so let's say I wanted to show uh, the industry, the size and the company for this client. Well, then I can add in a, let's do a fields component. And then I'll add in the industry, the size and the company type. And then, yeah, so this row right here, this peekaboo view, peekaboo view um, changes whenever we go to a different client. So really, really cool feature here to be able to access that. And you're not only reading it, you can actually update this as well. So if I were to change this to good sun goods, I can't even say it, but add a two after it, that would update the data directly. So that's a really cool feature that's also been added. Okay, let's reset here. So we have our clients, we have a details view for them. And now I wanna change the client manager that's associated to them. So I want to have a list of all the client managers that are available, pick from them to change that. And we do that through the through a, what's called a choice component in Glide. And Glide has uh, released some really sweet features specifically integrating with Airtable that just makes it more seamless. So I'm gonna move this above our fields here. And right now it's set to Ryan and it's writing to our client manager. So I'll click on the component, go over to properties. And so we can see here it's writing to our client manager and it's pulling, it's automatically determining that these are all of the people that it can use based off our linked column inside of Airtable. So here we have a client manager list and it knows that behind the scenes, this is looking at the staff table 
And then Glide is saying, you can pick from any of these people. So really sweet that that's happening out of the box. Another cool feature with this is we can now add images in our list views. So if we wanted to show the image of each one of our staff members, we can set that right there. And now we can see all of the staff members in a list. There's also, if your list is over 10 items, I think the, the threshold, you can also search through it. So like we can search for Ryan, who we're currently set as here. And uh, one thing I might want to do is filter this to only show people that are actually client managers, because in our data, I don't think I detailed this earlier, uh, I have different roles for each, each one of these people. So maybe I only want to show uh, client managers in here. So for that, I'll go over to options and go to filter data because I want to filter the items that are in this list. I'll say, okay, this is just saying um, that this is not a security feature. There are multiple ways to do this. You can also do this through roles inside of your app, but I'm gonna do it this way for now. So for now, I'm gonna say role is client manager. And what that does is set this so that it's only gonna show the client manager type people in my team. And then the last thing I might wanna do is require that uh, a client manager is selected. And what this does is it removes this option to have no client manager. So I'll just mark this as required. And it's going to say you need to add somebody. So the reason this is like really sweet and why I love this is in our last power hour when I, I highlighted this Airtable feature, whenever we wanted to have a list of people or a, a list like this, a pick list, I would need to copy this list into another table inside of Glide. So this is where you would typically create like an options or a choices table. And then what that does is it requires you to have two separate lists that you're maintaining, one in Glide, one in Airtable. But with this new update inside of Glide, Glide does all that automatically. And so that is a very long-winded <laughs> way of explaining what I'm really excited about for the um, Glide's updates for the Airtable synchronization with the choice component. And Darren, what would be another use case for the choice component for a project like this? Like here, we have size down here. And maybe you classify all of your clients as small, medium, or large. Well, that's a good space for a choice component because you can pick small, medium, or large. You wouldn't necessarily want to be like typing in small every time you wanted to classify a client as small. You can use a pick list to do that. Another way that you could do this is like what we're doing here, which is referencing another table or another data set. And you know, for that, in addition to assigning a client manager to this, you could be assigning uh, maybe someone to fulfill the service. You could be selecting an order number that they're, yeah. you know, that they're in order for their purchase or a project. There's all different, yeah. yeah, all different types of things. What what made me ask the question? Because in the Kanban instance, where you were changing status, you could use the choice component to also perform the same function. Mm. Yes, statuses. Yes, that's a great, great point. Brilliant. That's a really, really exciting uh, new feature. And thank you so much. So um, I've been having some discussions this week with members of the community just around building CRM and Glide. And um, yeah, I was, ho I was hoping you could shed some light on a few things. How could a company integrate Glide with other software that they already use? Yeah, so this is very common. Uh, whenever you're building a CRM, the question comes up, you know, how do I integrate the CRM with my other systems? Because, you know, you might have a system like I was talking about before that's uh, dealing with, you know, your invoicing or dealing with maybe you have a intake form on your website. There's all there's likely other systems you want to integrate with. And so I like to think about it in two ways. There's getting data into Glide and then there's like sending data from Glide. When you want to get data into Glide, if you're using Glide tables, there's the Glide tables API. You can use automation software with like if you're using Airtable, you can send data to Glide through tools like Make and Zapier and other automation tools that are out there. 
And then when you think about sending data outside of Glide, there are features where you can have like a, go ahead and show you here, you can do like a button to, uh, let's say we can call it like notify a website or something. And this gets into actions inside of Glide, which are just things that happen whenever you press a button. And so you can send different, you can send emails, you can send uh, webhooks, trigger webhooks or trigger zaps. All of these are things that can be sent outside of Glide to do things. And so, yeah, so you get, I like to break it down into, when you think about integrating, it's like, how do we get data in the Glide? And how do we get data out of Glide? Fantastic. And speaking of actions, could you explain the new simple actions in Glide pages? Thinking about uh, simple and advanced actions. This is a new term inside of Glide that I wanted to, to touch on here. So in our actions for like a list right here, now Glide has just regular actions. And whenever you're working with data, there's usually three things that you'll be doing to manipulate that data, which is adding, editing, and deleting. So Glide provides that out of the box. And you can turn those on and off here through um, what I'm terming simple actions, but maybe we should just call actions. And the old way, um, action, or Glide is referring to as advanced actions. So if we toggle this on, then we have some more customization here. And what these advanced actions allow you to do is add additional actions, essentially. So instead of just being able to add here, maybe you want to be able, like have a button here that says, go, go to other portal. And whenever you clicked on this, it would bring you somewhere else. Or maybe inside of your list here, you want more than just edit or delete. One thing I've done here before is add in, use emojis to add like a red light, green light system. So whenever you, um, you know, clicked a button here, it would change a status or something. So I'm not going to go through all that, but essentially we have, now we have like basic or default actions, simple actions, which are adding, editing, and deleting. And then we can use the term advanced actions if we want to do more than that. So do more custom actions and we can specify those over here. Brilliant. So when you're building CRM um, and other apps for work, how does Glide compare to some of the other no-code tools you've worked with building a CRM? This is something that is really hard to kind of keep up with. You kind of have to have your hands in all the different tools and there's constantly new no-code tools coming out and things that I consider whenever I'm looking to build an application on a certain platform. So one is like company size and backing, you know, do they have, uh, you know, a good foundation? Do they have, is it a large company? Has it been around for a while? Basically, is it going to be reliable and is it going to be here in a year and a half or, or is there risk of them going out of business? Another thing that I consider is the complexity and like how many different features do I need? Do I need to get super pixel perfect customizable or does you know, just getting the job done and making it look good out of the box work for this client. So yeah, there's a lot of things to, to consider. From my experience, Glide checks the boxes on being a reliable platform that's coming out with really good updates. And it's also really, really simple to, to get started with. Basically, and we talk, we say this amongst ourselves as experts when I'm talking to clients as well, it's if you can build it in Glide, build it and glide. If you can't, well then, you know, go look elsewhere. So we've built out a very basic CRM and, and once individuals have built out their tool and completed it, how do they then share it with their team? I mean, how do we publish and share this app with our team? So one thing that I did not show here that I think is important to show is our data right now, we need to since we have staff members on our team, one thing we might want to do is uh, allow all of our staff members to log in. So Glide makes it really easy to set up who can log into things. So up here in the top right, I'm going to go to my profile. 
And then when I click here, we can set the source of the people that are gonna be able to log in here. So right now it's pointing at a, a template or a default table that Glide created when we created the project. But since we have a list of our staff members in Airtable, I'm just gonna point this to staff here. And so now, uh, whenever I can click on viewing as here, and I can change who I'm viewing the project as. So we have title, and then let me just display real quick their role. Uh, we'll do role there and email here. Nope, I did it wrong. Photo here <laughs> and email here. Okay, so now for each one of our people, we can see like our client manager and we can view as different people. So the reason I'm showing you this is if you have a larger team and you're building inside of Glide, you very likely will want to give some people the ability to do some things and other people the ability not to do those things. So say one thing that you wanna control is who can add. Maybe you only want your administrators to add things. Um, so in addition to updating their actions, one of the things they did was made it really simple to control or add a condition on who can do something. And so if we wanted to add a condition so that only our administrators can um, add something, then we could go to user profile, click on role, and then we could say is an administrator. And so now that button doesn't show because Derek here is not an admin, but if we go to Marie, then uh, that button does show. And so this gives you the ability to control who can do what inside of the application. That's something I typically like to think about before I publish something. Now I would say the app is ready. We've defined our users that can log in. We've, decide, we've defined what those different types of users can do. And so then we can go to <clears throat> the privacy settings. And here we can control um, who has access to the project. So we can control access, which is who can get in. So right now it's private. We could also make this public so anybody could, could sign in. But since this is a CRM, you likely want to restrict this to um, not anybody can log in and see all of your information. And then we can specify who can log in. So we can say here, like only the users in our users table, which that would mean only the people, only the staff here, can log in, or we can say only my, my team team, which that references back to um, our Glide project and the, and the people who have access to edit the Glide builder. We could say anyone uh, from domains. And so this is where like, if you have a company domain, like mine is um, like DarrenAlderman.com. So then I could restrict access to this so that Anyone from with had the domain darrenalderman.com could access. And that's a new feature that's really nice. Um, and then we could say any email from like, I think this is from some other table. Um, but yeah, so you can control who has access. And then once you specify that, then you're ready to click publish. And so we can click publish here, give it a custom name. So like CRM is... Good, click publish. And then that's going through the process of hooking up the domain and all of that. And then boom, right there, we can share this link with our team members and they can log into our custom CRM. And then we can also invite team members right here to log in as well. Just type in their email, click send invite and that'll, that'll hook them up so they can get access. Brilliant. So if someone is wanting to get started with a CRM, what's your advice for getting started? Yeah, so uh, one of the easiest ways to get started with, uh, with Glide is through a template. And Glide has a robust uh, marketplace of templates. Um, some are free, some are paid. There are uh, two templates that I'll call out in reference to this power hour. So the first is made by Glide and it is a company uh, CRM. So this pertains very much to what we went through today. You can see it has companies, contacts, contracts, and staff, and it has all of that out of the box. And you can start updating that to 
basically be what you need for your CRM. And then another one that I would say you could consider is a client portal. And this one is made by myself. And this one adds the layer of complexity where it's not just a CRM in that only your team is using it. A client portal kind of flips the scripts or adds another way to access it. And it gives your clients a way to log in and see their project or their, their client's profile. It's a, it's a client portal. And I would say start with those, but if you want more of a kind of robust understanding of how all this works so that you can build it from scratch, then I'll also say that you could check out um, on my YouTube channel, I have a full playlist on how to create a customer portal um, basically with Glide and it's separated out into five different tutorials. That was superb. Um, thank you immensely um, for that. I'm just gonna take over the share screen. Here we go, hopefully you can see all this. Um, Darren, that was, that was really phenomenal. Um, do, please do go and subscribe to Darren's YouTube channel. Uh, it's a really fantastic resource with loads of great learning content on building with Glide and other integrations. And just to reiterate um, that point, Darren, just about templates, they are a fantastic way to fast track a CRM project uh, to help your teams manage customers, deals, activities, and all the things we just covered, uh, and all centered in one place. For those of you who are totally new to Glide, um, if you want to learn the true magic of what's possible, head over to our template store. From there, you can get started with templates again for CRM, um, but also dozens of, of other great apps for business. Um, we covered quite a lot there. Uh, and if you're just getting to grips with building with Glide and need some assistance, there's a steadily growing collection of step-by-step -step articles and videos in our Glide docs. Where to find this? If you head over to our website, glideapps.com and click documentation um, or the video guides from our navigation menu, uh, that's how you can get started. You can also hire and connect with individuals like the talented Mr. Darren Alderman uh, to help you build out your, your Glide projects. All of our experts are certified independent professional Glide developers who can help you fast track your projects uh, and also help you overcome any hurdles that you might be facing. They're a friendly and wonderful bunch. Uh, they can also build out projects for you end to end if that's something that you're looking for. So do draw on them if you need. You can find a directory of our experts listed on our website. And you can also connect with our experts in our wonderful community. If you've not already signed up, uh, come and join the fun and be a part of the most supportive and responsive community on the web. We haven't delved into all the magic that Glide pages and apps have to offer around building CRM. Uh, but if you have a question that hasn't yet uh, been answered in this webinar, that, or if you think there's anything that we've missed, if you're already familiar building with Glide that you think would be of huge benefit to other gliders, then let's keep the conversation going. Uh, scan this QR code. This will take you to a discussion taking place inside the Glide community forum. It's always fantastic to learn your insights and, and for us to break these conversations open around, around these topics. Of course, if there's any other topics um, or discussions, um, our ambassadors, experts, and community leaders can also help guide, support, educate, and brainstorm different ideas with you to help you accelerate your Glide projects. Uh, if you're starting out, it's, it's a no-brainer. So here's the QR code um, that links to the community post where we're going to keep the conversation going. Uh, I'm going to ping this also in the chat for those wanting to join on desktop. That is hitting you up right now. There we go. Um, I'll be heading over there shortly uh, and would love to see any uh, showcases of any epic CRMs that you wish to share or if you or for any questions that you may have. Thank you very, very much for joining. Uh, we hope you enjoyed today's power hour. We will be sharing a recording in the community and over email and socials very soon. So do stay tuned. Uh, and we can't wait to see you at the next power hour in October in a month's time. Thank you very much again, um, the talented Mr. Darren Alderman uh, for your sublime insights there. 
Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to Darren's YouTube channel. Stay safe. Keep being awesome from all of us here at Glide. We can't wait to see what you build. Um, Darren, keeping with tradition, I'll let you have the final word. Yes, thank you, Tom. My friends, people viewing, you. If you're looking for a CRM, you need to see our impeccable friend, Glide. <laughs> Fantastic. Happy Thursday, everybody. Take care.